how do we get someone's username from their email address? And I mean username from like Facebook or Twitter or Foursquare. How do we do that? Now, luckily, there is this company called Full Contact, and they actually have an API to do exactly that. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Now, this will help you get to a point where you can automate a lot of your social research, your social marketing, um, all types of things. It's, it's actually phenomenally easy to implement, and it's really cool. So go ahead and sign up for a developer account. Once you do sign up for one, um, of course, it's on slash developer, so fullcontact.com slash developer. Uh, they have a free account, and that's the one you should just sign up for until you're ready. Um, so the free account, of course, gives you 250 uh, free API matches per month. Um, that means 250 calls, essentially. And that should be enough for you to test it. And then once it gets to a bigger point, I mean, $100 a month, is not unreasonable if you have the demand for it. Now, if you're just trying to gather information about your friends, well, maybe it's not worth it. But if you're trying to actually build your business and understand more about your customers, now $100, $200, $500 might absolutely be worth it. Um, but if you have any questions, of course, contact them directly. I don't work for them. I just found their API and I think it's great. Um, so I'm doing this little video so you guys can also work with it as well. So after you log in here, you're going to want to go into the API portal. Uh, this is the developer portal. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, our API key. So if you copy that API key, uh, you can click on try it now, uh, or you can go to resources and click on API console. And then from here, we see this API G console. Um, if I full screen it there, it gives me that full screen of the API console. Um, so this is where we're gonna start. And we're gonna do a lookup by email. So now that I have somebody's email address, I can come in here and just kind of play around a little bit. We're gonna do this in Python too, but I just wanted to show you, uh, if you're not using Python, how you could do this otherwise. So in the API key, I'm gonna paste in the API key that I have, and then I want some email address. So I'm gonna use Mark Cuban at dallasmavs.com. And I'm just gonna hit send here. And what do you know? It gives me all types of stuff. My response, it was a 200 response, so an okay. Um, and we got all these different things. We have a Gravatar, we have a, oh, looks like their sales hit me up, sorry about that. Um, we have a Gravatar here and Twitter. We have his Twitter account. So let's see um, what we've got here on Twitter. Let's see what this is. So I'm going to just copy this URL. I just want to look at it just to kind of play around a little bit. And, oh, it's got a picture of Mark Cuban, a very small one. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, we see other things, Twitter, Twitter, um, contact info. So I'm going to actually close down these are photos right so if you look in that it's photos so contact info it gives me a url for him it gives me his family name or his last name you know mark cuban so on and so forth these things we kind of already know i mean he's you know, kind of a celebrity so you would know who he is um and then we've got a username on angel.co we have his foursquare account which you know i believe is going to be pretty accurate i think they're about 90 percent accurate as far as this information goes. Uh, and lo and behold, there is Mark Cuban. It doesn't look like he uses it a whole lot. Um, so let's actually get out of there. Um, and then we have his Facebook and it's Mark Cuban 503. Let's look at that. And page not found. So maybe that's not accurate or maybe it's hidden so I can't actually see it. Uh, let's look at his Twitter. And that is his Twitter, 2.1 million followers. All right, uh, Google Plus. I mean, so now we have all of this information about a celebrity. Now, this is great. Um, it's a good start. Now, you, I would suggest that you kind of play around with this stuff yourself. Now, of course, if you've already worked with a API on uh Python, this next part should be really easy for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up terminal and I'm just going to type out Python. Now, if you're on Windows, just use command prompt 
And then we're going to import two libraries. So URL lib2 and import JSON, JSON. Um, so now that we have these, let's set a few things. So URL equals to this full URL up here because it has my API key in there. And then we want to load that URL into some data. So we'll say URL data equals to URL lib2 dot URL open. And we're going to open the URL that we just set. Press enter. And now we want to load this data because it's JSON data. And the reason I know it's JSON data, there's a few reasons I know. But number one, in the URL, it says person dot JSON. So we should know that it's JSON data from that content type it says application slash json and then template will also give me json there's other types that i can use other response formats that i can use but json i think is the easiest to use when it comes to doing stuff like this for python okay so now we've opened this url and we want to load this data so we'll say loaded um, json and i'll do json Dot load and we'll use the URL data press enter and then I'll print loaded JSON and there we go so now we have this same JSON data um, that was here right so we have we have a status social profiles is a list and then if we scroll down more uh, we'll probably see all of his other stuff like photos and all those things too so let's actually kind of see what we could do here with loaded JSON so loaded JSON, I'm gonna just, let's just print out photos. And this should return a list of photos. So, and it does. So now we have this list and we could go down here and we could actually set these pictures as pre-existing things for us. Like, so if we're in a project and I wanna use this information, I can, um, of course, storing this data and doing all that, um, you might want to read up on full context requirements, um, but you definitely want to make sure that you're following that. Otherwise they might ban you. And if they ban you, then you might have some issues with, with your, with your content there. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, as far as using this in a Python, you know, file, we can try that out. So I'm going to open up Komodo edit. Um, you can use whatever uh, software or editing software that you want, but I'm going to use Komodo Edit because it's a nice and easy way to work with Python information. So we're going to do virtually the same thing within a Python document, but we're going to put that document on the home page. So let's go ahead and exit out of Python. We'll change into desktop. I said home page. Sorry, I meant desktop. And in here, I'm going to do touch and I'll just do full contact.py. That's going to create that full contact file. Um, so I have Komodo Edit showing. I'm going to actually hide that for a second. I'm going to hide the URL and I'm going to show you that it made this full contact page. Uh, touch doesn't work on Windows. I think it's Echo. And then you can type out the file name or you can just create the new file and uh, inside of Komodo edit, you could go in here and do a file new and then new file or new file from template. In this case, we're gonna actually open this Python file in Komodo edit. I just dragged it down to the program. Now that we're in here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna import URL lib2, import JSON, and we wanna get our API key. So API key equals, uh, this is gonna be more of a universal thing. So I'm gonna actually copy that. And let's go back in here and paste that in there. Okay, so now we have our API key here. And let's look at the URL. So I'm gonna copy this URL and we'll do some replacements here. So full C URL, so full contact URL. Um, first of all, I see this email. I can actually delete Mark Cuban's email there. And then this API key I'm gonna to wanna to delete that, that ampersand. So the and sign, we wanna keep everything before that we do not wanna keep. So I'm gonna put two double quotes and add plus API key, and it's gonna give me a suggestion. So make sure there's no spaces or anything like that. And then we wanna do plus email here. 
Okay, so then we'll do email equals to email. And with this whole thing, I'm gonna put it into a function. So full contact collect, and I'll put email in here. And I'm gonna actually change this from full C URL to just full URL. And now that we have this, let's indent these things with shift tab, or excuse me, just tab, you collect the whole thing. And then after that, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we have to load in this data. So go ahead and at the end of that line, we're gonna do that JSON load again and the URL open. So load URL equals to URL lib two dot URL open. And it's gonna take in the full URL this time. And then now that we have that this is going to be the JSON data. So JSON data equals to JSON.load and load URL. And we can just do print JSON data. And after that, we'll do full contact collect and we'll use Mark Cuban's email again. And it'll be Mark Cuban at DallasMavs.com. Hopefully, Mark doesn't. Uh, get mad that we are using his email, um, but it's a pretty much well-known email anyway. Okay, so now that we have this, we can actually run this file uh, in our terminal. Let's make sure that that file's there. So uh, if I list everything out, you'll see fullcontact.py. So if I do Python fullcontact.py, uh, press enter, it prints out all of that information all over again. And of course, we could do what we wanted before, which was, you know, just getting the photos and maybe printing out all the photos. So let's say photos equals to JSON data. And again, to get what that is, it's going to grab the photos right there. And I just, I know that because the entire dictionary, um, the first one would be status. We can get request ID and then photos. And that's gonna give me a list of different photos. So what I'll do is I'll print out that list of photos or print out each item in that list of photos. So for item in photos, print item. And this is gonna print out each single one in here. So let's actually see what happens with this. Go back into terminal, press enter, and it actually pulls the dictionary that's related to each photo, right? So there's these different ones, so it's a new dictionary. So if we actually want the link to his uh, picture, we would, we would grab the URL. So again, using the brackets, we use URL. And this time it'll give us the link to all those pictures. And if we print that out, it gives us all these different picture links. Um, and so we can copy some of them and in some cases, they might not be different. They might be the same pictures. But now if we wanted to reference Mark Cuban um, in our project, right, if we wanted to do that at any time, we could. And we could use different pictures for him. So some of the pictures might not actually work. And this, this is going to – what it's going to take is kind of some more research on your end to see whether or not that picture is, is valid um, and – you know, the data is not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a lot better than what you probably have right now. And depending on where you grab it from, so going into Chrome, uh, depending on where you grab it from, it is going to be determined on like what source you want to end up using or what picture you want to end up using. So I use those two Facebook ones. And when I went to his actual page, uh, I couldn't find anything there. Um, so the next part would be actually doing this on your own, trying your own email address um, or trying other people's email addresses or if you have any customers or anything like that, try those email addresses. And then you'll have all this data. And once we have this data, finding out who these people follow and how many followers they have and stuff like that will become very important. So like Mark Cuban, it says how many followers he has and how many people he's following. So if we go again back to his Twitter and look at it, um, we see 2.1 million and he's following over a thousand. And then the data in here, it's not current, right? The followers and following, but his username is correct. So using this, we could then jump into the Twitter API and actually understand 
who he's following. So then maybe we would want to follow those people as well, because if he's following some influential people um, that might be useful for our users, then, you know, maybe that's a good place to do. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, this has been the introduction to Automate Social. Thank you.